is overseeing the sorry. Sorry, sorry about that. I don't look it over the water plant. I, I I think that's I think that's a critical thing, but that's my opinion. I, I think I keep at 70. You know, it's a, I think it's a happy medium. You know, okay, 20%. can you make can you make a motion, Steve, please? I, I, I'll make a motion to keep Jason at 70% for the indirect I, cost. I second yeah. the motion. Okay. All in all favor? In, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Aye. Okay. Okay, second issue is the collections are currently 10%. Uh, Lee had asked Paula to send out an explanation um, why 10 hours is the right number. We received that. I was satisfied with the response. My view is it should stay at 10 hours. Um, that's all I have to say on that. I'm gonna turn it over to Lee. And I would just simply ask Lee, if you, I know you don't agree with 10 hours, if you could please propose the number of hours that you'd like it to be so that we can take a vote on either 10 hours or the number of hours that you're proposing. Okay, uh, at our last meeting, I questioned whether or not there was any new technology available within the collector's office. And I was informed absolutely not, but it is on our website about Unipay. Uh, Jason mentioned that he's always carrying in the checks into the treasurer's office. And Don said, oh no, they're doing the same thing. And it seems they've been doing the same thing for years and years. But now with Unipay, it, people are setting up their bills on that site where they're putting in their bank information. So the money is going directly to the town and the people are getting billed directly and the money and the town is taking the money out of their bank accounts, which saves a lot of time. I wish that we could have gotten some information to see how this technology is working, how it has been working. So uh, it would be a way to give us more of a, an accountability that we're supposed to be having. I know Don disagrees. He feels as though the accountability was done in 2014 and we don't have to have reconciliation or accountability ever again, but I've never been in a business where that happened. And what I had proposed was just taking the revenue collector's time. If you looked at your indirect cost sheet, it was 0.12 and moving it down 2.10. Say that again. I, Can you do okay. that last part again, Leo? Yeah, I, got, I'm, I didn't follow that one. Okay, I was just taking because uh, we have three different people in, three different people working for those ten hours, and I just took the lowest salary person, and their time was 0.12. And I suggested moving their time to 0.10. It's not a very big drop. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. It was 0.06, moving their time down 0.06 and dropping it $5,241 from 10482 Because I'm, I'm thinking with the technology that's going on, I can't see where we're spending all of this time. Don't forget, I'm in a business that has a lot of in and outs and seeing what's happened through the years. I know how things work. Okay. Thank you, Lee. Any other comments on that? Don, do you want to comment at all before uh, Steve? No comment. Okay. All right, Steve, it's now in your court. So, you know, I, I agree with Lee. And I also agree with, with uh, John. Um, but the, you know, the thing is, I, you know, the, the part for me is how do, how do I judge somebody's time if I don't even see it? I don't know. I, you know, it's, I, I trust me, I, I agree with Lee, but I, I just don't, you don't, we, like John, do you know how much time they spend? Actually, I, you know, I've never, don't work with these folks. 
So I can't, you can't really judge their time. So, you know, I think, I think, you know, I don't want to play devil's advocate, but I think we keep at the same, same pace. Cause honestly, I, I, you know, I don't know. Yeah. I know. See, that's I, why I, I ask I, for accountability. Yep. You know, I, I think, you know, I agree. There's a lot of technology. I mean, I pay all my stuff through UniPay. I mean, it's fast. It's great. I'm sure there's a, it keeps us a central ledger in the, the town hall. I, 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 I don't know. Like I, this is a, that's a tough one. You know, I John, if you have anything to kind of, I don't know. Again, uh, we had Paula prepare a memo. She went through information to come up with an estimate. She's not speaking through me. I'm not speaking through Paula. I mean, she's a separate department head in another department that, that was asked to prepare information. And she did. And this technology, it's not to, it's online payment system. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you still have to, you get a huge bulk file and you still have to match them up to the individual in, individual nice. records to process it in our collector system and then post it to the general ledger. Again, as people in the business, you know, all these all these technology things, it still requires back end work to process. So, uh, so you know, so, I'm sorry so, that you guys aren't happy with the documentation, but now it's been something that we've agreed upon pretty well over the last few years. And then we, we went to further effort and had Paula provide you something. So I, I don't really know where to go from here. And we're not going to do timesheets for you. To, to mark, so, uh, we're doing five minutes on water and we're going to do one minute on water and then an hour on water. I mean, we're just not going to do that. And so there's one thing I, I would bring up in my current position, even though I don't do any of the financials where I work, but a lot of people are built to uh, bill pays via web. And I know the folks have a lot of back end work, you know, matching checks, you know, this, you know, bounce checks, this, that, you know, even though we're larger, I, you know, again, I think keep it the same. Cause I, like I said, you don't know what they really do. I don't, John doesn't, you don't sit with them. I mean, there can be a lot of headaches that we don't understand. And, and I get, we want to try to save a few dollars, I'm with Lee on there, but can't I can't judge somebody's time. You you just don't know. So I think mm -hmm. so I'd make a motion to keep the um the salary, this the salary, payment of injury costs the same for the treasurer collector. I second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed. Aye. Okay. Now Lee, there's a third issue that you raised. If you can please. Now we'll go through that third issue. We resolved the first two. Um, this is a new issue, so this was not discussed at the last meeting. Um, so if you can explain it to everyone, Lee, that would be great. Okay, I apologize to Don for not knowing that his assistant retired. I just found that out when I read the report, the weekly report from a Chris Senior. Just retired Monday. Mm -hmm. So here she is, she is retired. Should we be paying her salary for the new person coming in? That's well, yeah, the question. I, I'm happy, you know, I'm happy to go through and update it with the, with the new kid. Uh, his name is Ryan Smith. And um, I'm happy to, to put that in there. I ran the numbers, it's a $1,900 decrease. Um, again, this, I hear you, but if this was voted on back in December, we didn't have months of going back and forth. Yeah, you know, I probably wouldn't have come up and it would have corrected itself next year. Again, I mean, I, I did you guys a favor of doing an adjustment before. We don't normally do that. It's usually done at a certain time. So I apologize that wasn't factored into this. But if that's what you want and you voted, I'm happy to change it for the $1,900 for you. Do you have a view on it, Don, uh, one way or another? I mean, I... I yeah, I mean, we didn't know who was going to be here. So I really didn't even have a salary till two weeks ago or a week ago. Um, I guess we could have put a, a, a new number in there that was different from James, but without knowing the experience and who would be applying for that job, we kept it the same. And 
quite frankly, I didn't even think of it because we were doing this in December. And again, we usually approve it and try to move on. And then it just right. in subsequent years. So um, again, I'm happy to try to make any piece I can. Uh, and and then right. I'll hear your vote. Would you feel comfortable with did, would you feel comfortable with the decrease of nineteen hundred dollars, Don? Yep, yep, I'd be fine with that. Okay. Then I'm fine with it. Lee, you sound like you're fine with it. Yeah. Well, I mean, Lee. we're we have a fiduciary responsibility to our ratepayers, and you know, and I know we've been trying. We voted last year unanimously to put the extra thirty thousand dollars into the rate study. But unfortunately, due to the April 1st meeting that was joint with advisory and selectmen, some misleading information was given and we lost it. And, you know, and we have an awful lot of expenses coming up. And I, okay. I'm just okay. very nervous. All about right, it. Lee, please. We're not going back to the advisory meeting. That's no, nope. we're up. not. That's, 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 that's not part of this, that's not done part of this issue. That's right. Um, Steve, how do you feel about the $1,900 decrease that Don's willing to offer us? I'm good with it. Okay, I make a motion that we decrease the cost for Don's assistant by $1,900. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so the, the budget is finalized. Don, is there anything else that you need from us on the budget? Well, the ball its budget's not balanced anymore. Right, so we're going to have to make the adjustments because the number we've been going off of, I, I believe, was the, the lower well, been, number. And, yeah, so. I've been doing two budgets, one with the regular and one with the reduced indirect costs. So now we're going to have to adjust the indirect costs again, which means we're going to have to adjust the budget. So what, can you do this, John? Can we just continue on what we, without that $1,900 in this well, credit next year? We can just make the adjustment. I mean, again, you had two different budgets. I don't even think you guys finally approved on one budget or the other. So, um, so it would be, I can't really go ahead and just put that together right this second. It would yeah, take I, a few I, minutes and I got an 11 o'clock meeting, unfortunately. Okay, but uh, you can, with the information you have now, would you be able to finalize can, the budget? I could turn it around and send it back this afternoon so that you guys could vote. Again, I don't know how quickly you guys will be able to vote it. Um, well, I don't think we need to vote it because we've already voted all the all the items on it. So I think okay. we've already we've already approved all the items on it. We we approved that um, we're doing the two and a half percent increase, and we have not resolved indirect costs. Okay, so, so basically, what I'll I'll do I'll run through those numbers again. And I'll make that one change so you can see, you know, the assistant, the new assistant town account numbers, and um, I'll work with Brenda. We'll make sure we're on the same page with the the final indirect cost number and the the balanced budget, and then we can just send that back out to you guys. Uh, and we should be good at this point. Yeah, we don't need another vote because all the items have been resolved. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, wouldn't you basically just put it in the uh, transfer to capital stabilization? And then yep. change the number of total general expenses. So we have. Let me see if I bring this email. Okay. So if I'm looking at the indirect costs original, the number that's in there right now is 177255. Mm -hmm. And then you just subtract 1,928 from that. And then capital stabilization up by 1928. All right, and then we're good. So indirect cost total would be. 
175-358 was a decrease. A oh, 1928. Okay, hold on. Yeah. That's okay. One seven five three two seven. Yep. All right, got that. And then your general expenses are reduced by that amount. Your transfer to capital stabilization would be adjusted. Transfer to capital stabilization. Your line fifty-seven. Yep, fifty-seven. Add the one nine two eight. Add one nine two eight. Got it. Ninety two one seventy six. Got it. All right. So that means with those adjustments, we're at a total budget of five million. $512,449. All right. Okay, but wait a second. Do we do the general expenses also? Total. Should've... General expenses total. Should have gone down 1928. Right? No. 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 Okay. Well, indirect costs. But if your indirect costs went down 1928. So you, yeah, were but you put it in the. Sorry. So, yeah, the, the total general expenses is at 2,551,656. But yeah, so if you had your. All right, you might not have a spreadsheet out. So. I okay. Don't. All right. So I leave it to uh, Brenda and Don. You can just finalize everything based upon what we voted on and the budget is done. We have a capital budget meeting seven o'clock on Monday. Lee and Steve, if you're available, I plan to attend. If you're able to attend, that would be great. Brenda has posted a meeting for us. Uh, do we know yet what time Tuesday we're on with the select board? I don't know if the agenda has been set. I'm, I would hope that it's earlier in the meeting. I just got the invite. I haven't had a chance to look at it so that I can post it for Tuesday. Okay. Um, so once I do, I'll, I'll get it to you guys right away. Great. And I then, didn't get posted yet either. All right. My, I'm planning to attend that as well. And um, again, Lee and Steve, if you're available and can attend, that would be great. Okay. Thanks everyone. I appreciate everyone's hard work and getting the budget completed. You can make a motion to close. Motion to close at 1055. Second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Thanks, everyone. Bye.